And good evening, hockey fans in Newfoundland and Labrador, across Canada and around the world via the internet. We welcome you inside the Hodder Memorial Recreation Complex in Deer Lake, Newfoundland and Labrador, game number four of the Herder Memorial Trophy Championship Series between the Deer Lake Red Wings and the St. John's Roof Tech Caps. Let's come up inside of our booth for just a moment. Hi everybody, George Scott along with uh, camera person Glendine Cole working the game this evening. We had a great one last night, 6-6 six, six going into overtime. St. John's pulled out the victory. Joel Bishop with the overtime winner about halfway through the first overtime. Give the Caps a 7-6 win and a 3-0 lead in this best of seven series. Could have gone either way last night, but it did go in favor of the Caps. So they now have a stranglehold on this series and they look to finish it off here in Deer Lake this evening. For Deer Lake, of course, they'd like to win this one and send it to a game five tomorrow, still here in Deer Lake. Not a whole lot of changes for the teams tonight. Let's start with St. John's. Really just the one change. It's a minor one. Now their backup goalie will be um, Devin Parsons. Andrew Curtis played backup last night. Kyle Dan, of course, will get the start. For Deer Lake, a couple of more substantial changes. Roger Snow, who set out his one-game suspension yesterday, is back in the lineup today on defense for the Red Wings, which means Dylan Coffey can move up to the forward line again. He played defense the last couple of games with, of course, Stephen Gillard out having broken a finger in the first period of game number one. A huge loss for the Red Wings to lose uh, one of the, arguably their best player, certainly I think their best player in the Herder last year in, in that series against the Southern Shore Breakers. He's been out. And the other big change for Deer Lake is their starting goaltender, Billy Clark, who was shaken up last night, came out of the game with about a minute left to go in the second period within the, you know, the parlance of, of hockey, a lower body injury. He is not dressed this evening, so Joshua Roach, the pickup from the Stephenville Lightning, will get the start tonight, and uh, Jonathan Foss will be the backup. As I say, Clark, not even dressed for tonight's game. That's it. That's the, that, that's, uh, excuse me, those are the changes for tonight. Other than that, the teams are standing pat. For uh, Deer Lake, they need to come out with a better effort in the first period. Talking to folks around the arena this evening and, and the big conversation is look if Deer Lake comes out and plays right from the get-go the way they played in the second and third period last night they've got a pretty good chance of sending this to a game five they fell behind four to one in the first period last night before fighting back to send it to overtime late in the game and had a couple of really really good chances to uh, to win that game in over overtime Brandon Hines missed an unbelievable opportunity about a minute into the overtime, found himself all alone in front of the goal and put it just wide. As Brandon said to me this evening when he spoke to me, he said, I missed it by that much. Anybody who's a Get Smart fan will, will get that reference, right? Missed it by that much. All right, so we're just waiting now for the teams to uh, come out onto the ice. The ice has been uh, flooded. We are all set. Warm-ups are done. So uh, just waiting now down at the far end of the stadium for the two teams to come out. Another full house here at the Hotter. They were sold out last night. Sold out again this evening. And if it does go to a game five, you can be bet, you can bet that one will be sold out as well. Boisterous crowd last night. They kind of got taken out of the game a little bit in that first period when the home team fell behind. But once the Red Wings got going, this place got rocking. And it turned out to be an exciting game and, and a great finish. Joel Bishop, his third goal of the game, proved to be the winner. For the Caps, Brandon Hines got himself going last night as well. I mentioned he missed that chance in overtime, but he had a hat trick in last night's game. Only had one goal through the first two games, and they need him to score. He's one of the top scorers in senior hockey here in Newfoundland and Labrador. So he needs to continue what he did last night. And that line, the let's call it the, the pickup line for the Red Wings, as they were allowed to dress for their pickup players last night. They put three of them together on one line. Cody Drover, Jordan Marr, and Mitchell Alexander no more. So lights go out. I guess we're getting ready for something that I'm not aware of. I hope it's planned. <laughs> I 
Trying to get the crowd going. The officials coming out on the ice. You can sort of see them there. But that line of Their number one line of McGraw, Bishop, and McKim had a great night as well. Mentioned Bishop with a hat trick. And he had a highlight goal last night in the first period. Picked up the puck in his own end and went end to end. Beat everybody on Deer Lake to score. A lot of people talking about Tanner Humber Dredge. Not one of the bigger players, but a very effective player for St. John's as well. Great skater. They want him to have a, a good night again tonight. St. John's want to utilize their speed. In the first two games out in CBS, they look to be the much faster team. Once again, we're wondering what they've got planned here this evening to uh, welcome the teams onto the ice. We've still got uh, 2.33 to go on the pregame clock. So maybe a, well, I'm going to say maybe a minute, but maybe two minutes before we get the teams coming out. And again, as we mentioned off the top, starting goaltender for Deer Lake this evening will be Joshua Roach from Stephenville. He came in just at the end of the second period last night and played extremely well. His team was down by a couple. Deer Lake came back, tied it up, and... and uh, Roach played really well coming in and to replace Billy Clark, who went out with an injury and not dressed this evening. They're going to need a big game from Roach this evening. As they announce the Red Wings. Okay. Get the strobe effect going. Be a warning come with this. I had to fire up the crowd. I don't need, I don't know if they need to. This crowd is ready for this one. Well, the Red Wings are out on the ice. And now here come the St. John's Roof Tech Caps, led by their goaltender, Kyle Downer. The Caps in the white jerseys, red and black trim. The Red Wings, of course, in their home reds with the white trim. probably get the announcement of the starting lineups and then the national anthem before we get going. Turning off the lights is always a dangerous proposition. I remember a number of years ago, maybe about 15 years ago, the cataracts were in the playoffs back at the Joe Byrne. They had the great idea of turning off the lights and having the fog machine going to introduce the players. And so I was doing the in-house announcing for the cataracts back then we introduced all the players whipped the crowd into a frenzy and went to turn the lights back on and they were the old-fashioned lights that once you turn them off it took about 15 minutes to get them going again so we had everybody revved up ready to go and then had to wait about 10 15 minutes before we could start the game players had to go out and kind of skate around in it it's like the air going out of the balloon all right we are going to go right to the national anthem Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
All right, again, folks, we welcome you inside the Hodder Memorial Recreation Complex in Deer Lake, Newfoundland and Labrador. Happy to have you aboard with us this evening here on AO.Live. Thanks to everybody for logging on to watch these games. We've had tremendous support online through the first three games. And the recipient, by the way, of most of the money you guys are paying Watch this goes to the teams and the two leagues. I don't get it all. <laughs> all right, we're underway. Sims up at the blue line. It's tipped in. In there first was Brandon Hines. Plays it back towards the blue line. Tipped away. Here's Tanner Humber. Dredge through the middle. Just missed Stevens. Another 62 is Thompson. Here's Hines with a shot off the stick of Murphy Johnson up and out of play. The faceoff will stay in the St. John's end. Both teams changing just 22 seconds into this opening period. You see lines from Brian Grushy. Set to drop the puck. I was talking to Brian earlier. He was in St. John's this morning. Drove to Grand Falls, Windsor, which is his home. Had a bite to eat and then... Came on here to Deer Lake to officiate this game. And that hits the rafters here at the Hodder. Face off will again be in the St. John's end. Langdon to take the face off against McGraw. Deer Lake win it. Long shot in by Robinson, no traffic in front. Easy catch there for Downer. Langdon against Michael Cole in the faceoff circle right down below us. Cole wins it. Murphy Johnson swings it to the far corner. Park got a stick there back to the point. Long shot in. That's also caught by Downer. And Jacob Oak with the shot from the left point. This one gets out. Oak has got it out at center. He'll turn. Gets it as far as the blue line. At center, McGurk shoots it in. Oak. That gets out. Park couldn't catch up to it. Parfrey off the boards looking for Brandon Knight. Knight getting away down the right side. Gets it in over the blue line. Loses the puck. Goes in behind the goal. Robinson comes away with it. Robinson lost the handle, taken away by Bishop. Bishop, drop pass, they'll go the other side. First chance for St. John's and a good save by Roach. Cole with the opportunity on the right side. Cannot turn the puck over against the St. John's Caps. They are quick on the counterattack. I'll redo the faceoff. I don't think the goaltender was ready. Okay, now we're good. McGraw against Marr. Again, Caps win it. Get it behind the goal. Picked up there by McKay. He's hit right away. Up along the boards. It's chipped out. Drover looking for it. Shot in by Heffernan. Comes here to the near boards. Drover, Cody Drover. He was looking for Normore. Puck goes to the boards. Normore's got it. He lost it. Bishop, the two number one lines are out there. McKim. McKim named Rookie of the Year for Newfoundland Labrador Senior Hockey prior to game one out in CBS. Bishop being worked over by McKay down in the corner. Puck comes out. Roger Pender with it. Pender backing up in his own end. Watch by Normore. Pass up through the middle. That missed fewer. Langdon to Normore. 
Just gets it over the blue line. Caps have it. Mark Rideout trying to get away. Rideout with the buck down the left side. From a sharp angle. On goal. Easy catch for Roach. Tremendous pace to start this game. Just two minutes, 32 seconds in. Both teams look like they came ready to play. Again, both teams will change. Deer Lake with the last change. Looks like they're trying to match up lines. Head coach Darren Langdon waited for St. John's to make their change, and he did likewise. He's got the Hines line out there now. Cole Knight and McGurk out there for St. John's. Brandon Hines outlets it. Dumped in. Murphy Johnson around the boards. Gets by everybody all the way down into the Deer Lake end. If Deer Lake had touched it, it would have been too many men, but they let it go smartly. That's off the glass and out. This will come all the way down the ice, and this is going to be icing against Deer Lake. Yeah, Deer Lake in the middle of a change as the puck came up around by their bench. Yeah, too many players out there, but... Nobody touched the puck, so no penalty. St. John's a little slow getting their line change in. I think the referee denied a late change. We're going to send McGurk back out there. He'd gone to the bench. McGurk and Cole. Humber Dredge is out there. Red Wings win it. Move it up the ice. Get as far as center. Michael Cole's got it. Back to Parfrey. Parfrey gets hit. Stepping into him was Anderson over on the far boards. Langdon to center, shoots it in. It's in behind the goal. Park in there looking for it, for checking. Park comes up with it, then had it taken away by Humber Dredge. Tanner Humber Dredge with some speed in over the blue line. Keeps it, shot right on goal, and Roach with another save. Face off down in the Deer Lake end. The left of goaltender Roach goes into the corner. Sims having a look around. Up to the blue line. McKay's pass was picked off and Roger Pender plays it to an open wing. Jumping on that is Jordan Marr. Forced out. Puck loose at center. McKay back to Sims. Up ahead for Drover. Drover leaves it into the middle for Marr. Marr steps in. Shot that was blocked by McKim. Into the near corner it comes. Myers got it. He and Drover in there. Myers got it. Out in front. Chance shot. Save. Rebound. Still kept out. It's right in the crease. Downers got it and holds on. First really good chance for Deer Lake. Downer made two saves and then the puck set there in the crease in the blue paint. He found it. Michael Hines in to take the face off against Cole. One by a dealing shot. Downer just got a piece of it with the left arm. McKay gets it out to center. Brandon Hines into the middle. Going to be a penalty coming up. There's a shot saved by Downer, but the Red Wings will go on the power play. Hooking will be the call. And down by the goal, we've got a little scrum. 
Linesman is down, two players are down. Don't think there'll be any additional penalties. Oh, let's see. Yeah, there is going to be at least one. Original call, two minutes hooking. Then Brandon Hines picks one. I think he took the helmet off of Brandon Knight and threw it against the end boards during that scrum. So that will negate the power play. Those penalties will offset. And we'll stay five on five. That's what it is on Sportsman. Chance here in front. Puck bounced on Mer. Shot in by Robinson. That's caught by Downer. Yes, two minutes on Sportsman like against Brandon Hines. Remember, he tossed the helmet away belonging to Brandon Knight. Poking against McGurk. Another faceoff win for the Red Wings. Just keep it on side. Robinson made the pass instead of shooting it. Drover behind the net. Cody Drover. No more. His shot. That went off of Bishop to the boards. Walsh. He gets hit by Marr. Robinson. Gets it out, caught, dropped by Murphy Johnson. Gets it onside and over the blue line, then has it taken away. Bishop. Long stretch pass up ahead, then he'll get the return pass. Bishop, he stopped. Good play by Robinson to read that. Robinson, then it in front, his tip just put wide by Park. What an opportunity there for the Red Wings. Great play by Robinson to stop Bishop and then a terrific pass to Park who just deflected it wide. Hal Norman, get her over to Parfrey. Up through the middle, tipped in by Rideout. McKay behind his own net. Snow to the boards. Thomas plays it behind the goal, back to McKay. McKay will step out with it. Okay, up through the middle. Gets it to Park. Park will shoot it in. Thrown right out in front. McKay with a couple of whacks at it. Three whacks at it. Downer's got it and keeps it out. And the officials get in and separate the players. This is all the earmarks of another dandy. No score, 13.30 left to go in the first period. Coffee will drop it back. Shot by Snow, went off leg, it comes out. That was blocked by Stevens. Red Wings dump it back in. Roger Pender's got it. Pender, long pass up at the blue line. Goes all the way down to the goaltender. He was trying to get it to Grant Thompson. And it's going to be a long game to keep this up. Every whistle. And the referee's arm has gone up. Is it just one, or is it two? Deer Lake Gate is open, St. John's Gate is open. They're both gonna go. Got roughing, and on sportsmanlike.
And I believe it's the extra penalty going against St. John's. St. John's player picking up unsportsmanlike and roughing just the unsportsmanlike to Derelict. So a power play for the Red Wings. Referee Brian Rice with the call. Brandon Hines back at the point, gets it in. Normore. Coffee's in front of the goal. Robinson. To Hines back to Robinson. Over the other side, Normore with a one timer. That went off a leg in behind the goal. Hines has got it. Robinson. Oh, look out, his pass picked off by Cole. Cole coming the other way, shorthanded. Cole with a shot. That rang off the goal post. Michael Cole almost with a shorty. He intercepted that pass right at the blue line, went the other way. Yeah, Thompson gets two for on Sportsman Lake, two for roughing. Puck loose in the crease. Downer's got it. Finally, the whistle goes. Lucas McKay with the on Sportsman Lake for Deer Lake. What a chance for Michael Cole a moment ago. Broke down that left wing, shorthanded, rang it off the far goal post, beat the goaltender. One minute to go in the power play. Langdon, back at the point, gets passed over. He'll go the other side to Sims. To Marr, he'll go the other side. Finds Drover. Drover drops it back, that's picked off. McGurk's got it, McGurk's got lots of time. He'll softly feed it down the ice, kill some time. 35 seconds to go in the power play. Langdon lugs it up himself, dumps it in off the inboards, comes right out in front. Parfrey's there. Parfrey gets knocked down. St. John's wanted a penalty on that. Drover's got it, gave it away to Norman. Norman shorthanded, 15 seconds ago. That went off of Drover. Norman in there looking for it, circling the goal. Trying to get it back to the point. Sims. That's going to do it. The power play is now over. Best scoring chance went to the Caps, shorthanded. Bishop knocked down at the blue line. He'll go the other side. That shot, blocker save made by Downer. That was Anderson. Park throwing it out in front. Mar with a chance. Put it behind the goalie and out the other side. What a chance for Jordan Mar. He does not miss those very often. As we've mentioned before, leading goal scorer. Leading point getter in the Central West Senior Hockey League this past season with the Cataracts. Watch out, here comes Bishop to McKim looking for the return pass. A little bit too far. He's got it now in behind the goal. Out in front. McKim couldn't handle it. Bishop holding it. Shot. Another shot. I think that went off the defenseman in front, but a couple of chances here for the Caps. Kyle McGraw talking to the official at center ice, complaining about a non-call earlier. Faceoff will be to the left of Josh Roach. It's a scramble draw right in the circle. Goes to the boards. Oak has got it. He'll go the other side to Robinson. Up for Brandon Heinz. Good pass up ahead. Coffee cutting in front. They drive the net. Downer keeps it out. Now the whistle goes, and it's first and goal from there, folks. Coffee going to the tough part of the ice. Cut right in front of the goal.
St. John's complaining about players driving the net, running into the goaltender. There was a bit of that last night. And I believe we've got a penalty call. Looks like Roger Pender again on Sportsmanlike. It's the fourth on Sportsmanlike penalty been called this evening. Emotions running high in game four. Another power play for the Red Wings. Hines to face off against Cole. Hines wins it back to Brandon Hines. His shot went off of Cole. Flutters to the boards over the other side. Knocked down by Robinson. Robinson's got it. Now for Normore. Normore pushed against the boards by Heffernan. Coffee over there to help out. Try and get the puck loose. Heffernan comes, or sorry, Coffee comes up with it. For Michael Hines. Hines backing up in the corner. Back at the point for Brandon Hines. Swings it the other side. Robinson, no shot yet. Now he'll shoot it high over the top of the goal. Brandon Hines has got it. That hit the outside of the net. Normore. Fed it in front. Nobody there but Kyle McGurk for St. John's. McGurk in off the boards. And McGurk goes head over heels into the boards, gently landing on the ice. Seen Kyle McGurk do that a few times. Mentioned it last night. Didn't have as much zip on that one. But that's a play that Kyle McGurk likes to do. He'll shoot it deliberately wide off the end boards and because he's got speed going forward. He can usually beat the defenseman to the puck. McKay is it behind the goal for Sims as the Red Wings change up their power play unit. Drop it back for Marr, Jordan Marr. Shot by Langdon was stopped. Puck goes high in the air, lands in the slot and is cleared by St. John's. Sims backing up in his own end, 45 seconds to go in the power play. Sims again drops it to Marr. Marr comes this side with it. Another penalty coming up to St. John's. Roach has gone to the bench. It's touched up. Slashing with 28 seconds left to go in the initial penalty. It'll be a five on three for the Red Wings. They need to take advantage of these opportunities. And this is a big one. McGraw, who was complaining to the other referee a moment ago about a non-call, picks up a slashing penalty. Eight twenty-eight to go in the opening period. Still no score. Puck is dropped. Red Wings control it from the faceoff. Marr, Grover's in front. Tried to make the pass over to Robinson. McGurk's got that. Sends it down the ice and heads to the bench. That will help kill some time. Just 10 seconds to go in the five on three. Hines flipping it into the middle. It's tipped. Downer's got it and holds on. And again, we've got some people complaining. I think they're complaining again about Downer maybe getting a little whack after he held the puck. Just four seconds to go in the five on three, a minute 36 to go in the second St. John's penalty. 8.04 to go in the period. Cold against Marr. Red Wings control it. Robinson, the other side. One timer by Hines. They set him up. That's the play they were looking for. He missed the net. Here comes Cole again, shorthanded. Cole, a little toe drag, and then lost the puck. And he lost it because they're going to say he was hooked. Lots of penalties in this one. It's Brandon Hines, his second penalty of the game. Great little move by Michael Cole. He's been dangerous, shorthanded. Okay, not a hook slashing. Either way, two minutes. 
Minute 21 still to go in the St. John's penalty, so we'll go four on four for a bit. Murphy Johnson. Over to Walsh. To Bishop. Bishop. Crisscrossing. Look for Murphy Johnson. Pass a little bit behind him. Comes in front of the goal. Scramble in front of the goal. Pile up in front of the goal. No goal. Three left in the penalty to the Caps. Humber drags in to take the face off. It's Chris Thomas. Thomas wins it. Back to Mike Brent. Brent to Thomas. And on this side. McKay, the defenseman on the rush, stopped by McGurk. Humber Dredge. Gets it in over the blue line, then stops, backhands it in behind the goal. Murphy Johnson in there. Puck along the boards, great battle along the boards. Won by the Red Wings, Stephen Sims has got it. Sims. That went off of Michael Hines in front. To Downer, and we've got another slashing penalty. It is a penalty fest here in the first period. Slashing. I think this time it is going to be for a poke at the goaltender after the puck was covered. St. John's were complaining about that earlier. And the complaint gets answered, so now it will be a power play for St. John's. Twenty-six seconds left to go in the penalty to St. John's. Then it'll be a brief five on three for them. Right now it's four on three. Shot by Bishop, stopped by Roach and cleared. Pender back to get it. Pender, McKim, Cole, Bishop. Four players out on the power play. And now they're joined on the player coming out of the penalty box. And now five on three for St. John's. Back at the point. There go the other side, scores! <laughs> Kyle McGraw. St. John's take advantage of the five on three. We didn't get the replay of that one, folks. Sorry about that. But it is one to nothing for the Caps, and they are still on the power play. Now five on four. We'll get the rest of them. Well, I gave it away behind the goal. Wraparound attempt. Downers got it. Keeps it out. 108 to go in the power play for St. John's, leading one to nothing. 602 to go in the first period. St. John's control it from the faceoff. McGraw takes it back behind his goal. Leaves it there for Bishop, Joel Bishop, the hero from last night. To McKim. McKim dumps it around the boards. Waiting for it over there is McGraw. He gets pushed off the puck by Sims. And Red Wings win the battle. Send it the length of the ice. 40 seconds to go in the power play. Coffey stepped into McKim. Then he hit Murphy Johnson. Play continues. Shot saved by Roach. And it seems, oh, Roach goes down as he tripped over the St. John's player who'd been knocked down in the back of the net. 
Seems like after every whistle, somebody finds himself lying on the ice. <laughs> the intensity level has been ramped up here for game four. They're going to bring the faceoff outside the blue line, I think. See the referee pointing there, yep. St. John's defense had moved in as part of that scrum. 28 seconds to go in the five-on-four power play for St. John's. Still 5.22 to go in a very eventful first period. Humber Dredge to face off against Michael Hines. Humber Dredge backs it up. And then makes the long pass. Don't think McGurk got a piece of it. No, he did. So no icing. Robinson gets rid of it at center. Comes off the boards. Picked up by Hines. His shot falls in behind Downer. He sees it and covers it. And... <laughs> Again, Hines is knocked down. Pender was down on the ice for a second as well. That shot came in from Hines and it changed direction a little bit. Went off the defenseman's stick. Downer made the save, but from here we could see the puck sit behind him. Luckily for Kyle Downer, he saw it as well. Just eight seconds now left to go in the power play for St. John's. Faceoff won by Meyer back at the point. Long shot in. Downer's got that. That took four seconds off, so we're down to four seconds to go in the power play. Comes in front, and that's going to do it for the power play. As we go back to even strength. Shot right on goal. From the defenseman, and Roach had to make the save. That came from Oak, his teammate, trying to play it behind the net, but right on goal. McGurk winds up. Blocker save made by Roach. That would have been a disaster for the Red Wings, but no harm, no foul. There's Normore, gets it in over the blue line, onside. Robinson, can't shoot it from there. Comes out, here's Normore into the slot. Pass was into the skates, and Murray couldn't one-time it. Went off a stick, Normore's got it again, holding it down in the corner. Normore doing great work back at the point. Robinson still holding it. He was looking for Normore, pass a little bit too hard. Normore couldn't get a stick on it. Now it's Norman for St. John's, and he'll backhand it out to center. Oak shoots it in. Pender will pick it up here into the near corner. Norman around for Fewer. Fewer gets bumped. Got rid of the puck, and it's dumped right back in wide of the goal. Norman, three and a half to go here in the first period. Fewer. Headed in his skates, just onside for the Red Wings. Anderson with a shot, that was blocked by Pender. Rideout gets it out, Fewer knocks it down, then he gets knocked down. Sims, tried to get it down into the corner, Pender's got it off the boards, it'll be kept in by Park. Goes the other side, Fewer. Fewer just avoids a hit from Sims. Park gets it down to the St. John's blue line where Roger Pender has it. Looking for McGraw, goes in the corner with Mike Brent. Brent backhands it up along the boards. It'll come out. Heffernan just gets to center and shoots it in. Sims. For Brent. That pass off a of skate. Walsh 
to Bishop. To McKim, who just shoot it in. McKay behind his goal. Gets it free. Long cross ice pass. That's picked up by Hines. He's on side. Hines out in front for McKay, the defenseman, activating, getting in front of the goal. Got a tip. Downer's been very, very good in this first period for St. John's. No lack of scoring chances for the Red Wings. In fact, they probably had the better chances in this one. Hines and Bishop having a few words. Two oh eight left to go in the period. Murphy Johnson will take it back behind his goal. Moved it up to Thompson. He was stopped. Walsh. And Thompson, he'll shoot it in. On it is Stevens. He had it taken away by Hines. Still in deep in the corner now. Hines. He gets hit by Stevens. Puck comes loose. Thompson. He's pushed to the board. Stevens following up on it. Stevens and Thompson doing good work. Finally, it comes away. Hines tried to feed it to McKay. Out at center. Long shot in by Michael Hines. That is cleared up and out of play by Downer. Got a minute 22 to go in this first period. And there was a collision. Didn't quite see it at center. Referee's going to send both players off. Stevens and Michael Hines. We're going to get on Sportsmanlike and roughing. Losing track of the on Sportsmanlike penalties here in this first period. I believe that's the fifth. Pender. So again, penalties are offsetting. So we are now into the final period of this final minute of this first period, excuse me. Norman back at the left point. Down in along the boards. Goes around behind the net. Oak moves it ahead. They were looking for Normore. That's going to be offside if Red Wings touch it. Caps have it. Norman. Skates it to center. No further. Robinson. Normore. Meyer looking for it. Off the boards. Norman gets out, and he gets leveled by Lucas Robinson. Bishop comes up with the puck. Tried that little toe drag. It worked last night. That time, couldn't take the puck with him. McKim steals it. And this time, it's offside at the Deer Lake blue line. No more and Bishop having words right at the blue line. Down to 12.6 seconds to go in this period. Face off just outside the blue line. Caps control it. McKim. That comes out. McKim will shoot it in. Wide of the goal. Brent knocked Bishop down as the buzzer goes. And they have words. Joel Bishop's got a bit of a target on his back here in this first period. Understandably, three goals in last night's game, including the overtime winner. And also involved in a little bit of a scuffle at the end of the game after scoring the goal. He came to this side of the ice, put the finger up to the mouth, giving the shh, be quiet sign to the Deer Lake fans. So let's get the shots on goal. Now, I suggested that Deer Lake probably had the better of the play. Shots on goal 20 to 12 in favor of Deer Lake in the first period. Kyle Downer, terrific in that opening period. 
One to nothing. St. John's Caps lead game four after 20 minutes of play. We will be back with period number two after an 18-minute intermission. We, enjoy, we invite you to come back and join us for period number two. We've got a dandy game going here tonight at the Hotter. Glad to have you on board here on AO.Live.
Okay, both teams back out on the ice for the start of the second period. One to nothing for the St. John's Caps after the opening 20 minutes. Kyle McGraw with a power play goal. Five on three power play goal. The only scoring. Deer Lake out shooting St. John's 20 to 12 in that first period. Kyle Downer exceptional in goal. Both goaltenders playing well. Josh Roach also playing well for Deer Lake. Not much you could do on that five on three power play. A penalty filled first period. A lot of penalties coming after the whistle. And at five unsportsmanlike penalties between the two teams in that first period. All right, we are set to get underway. Period number two, game number four. St. John's lead the series, three games to none. Everybody a little bit too anxious. Controlled by St. John's to start this second period. They'll bring it in over the blue line. Fewer for Thompson. Thompson still working in the corner. Gets it back along the boards. Humber Dredge tried to play it back to the point. It came all the way out. Shot back in by St. John's. Mike Brent on the far boards. Brent, long pass up through the middle. That was knocked down. Coffee trying to follow up on it. Coffey, the other side. Pass in behind his teammate. Brent follows up on it. Shoots it in and then knocks down Bishop. He got Bishop down at the end of the first period as well. That'll be icing against the Caps. Face-off win for Deerlick. That pass takes Robinson out over the blue line. He's got to be careful. Gave it away to Bishop. Bishop breaking in. Bishop cutting towards the goal. Crashes the net. Net comes off. And Bishop is shaken up. But he gets back up. Looks to be okay. Wrong guy you want to give the puck to if you're the Red Wings. It's okay. He's going to stay out. Went hard to the net. Roach kept it out. Drover against McGraw. Oak plays it around behind his goal to McKay. McKay back this corner to Drover into the middle. Finds Marr. Jordan Marr. Trying to split the defense. Mara breaking in. Gets a shot away and downer. Sticks out the left pad. Keeps it out. Net has become dislodged. The reason for the whistle. Faceoff will stay in the St. John's end. Langdon wins the faceoff back to McKay. Shot hits some traffic in front. Pender plays it to the far boards. McGurk is stopped. Thomas on it for Deerlake. Plays it into the corner. Park cycles it back down low. Pender intercepted it. Wing still on it. Now it goes to the far boards. Snow pinching in. Gets it behind the goal. Park looking for it. Park has got it. Down for Snow. Langdon. Red Wings keeping it down deep. McGurk hit into the boards by Snow. Nobody's quite sure where the puck is. It went out of play. And let's see where they're going to bring the face off. We're going to talk about it. Face off will stay in the St. John's end.
Puck goes through the boards. Brandon Hines plays it in around behind the goal. Walsh couldn't get to it. Back at the point, McKay. McKay winds up. Didn't get a lot on it. It changed direction and missed short side. Puck bouncing around that center. Comes to an open wing. McKay gets there first. Dumps it in. He'll go in and chase it himself. Thrown into the crease. Comes to the near corner. Brandon Hines. Out in front for Michael. Shot one off a stick wide. Then comes back to the point. Kept in. Brandon Hines behind the goal. Threw it out in front. Coffee with a chance, but there's a pile up in the crease. And again, the nets come off. Well, how many times have we seen that in this game already? Players on their backsides in the crease. The net getting knocked loose. It's been a regular occurrence here in game four. McGraw wins the faceoff. Norman gives it to McGraw. He'll go the other side. Power free. Sims has it inside his own blue line. And McKinn got sandwiched just outside the blue line. Gets back up. If they try and get the pass to him, it doesn't get there. Sims has got it. Sims brings it in. Steps between a couple of Caps players. Goes into forecheck. Hits Bishop in behind the goal. Puck comes out to center. Caps are on it. McGraw, his shot, hand save, rebound is there. It's cleared behind the net. Sims has it. To Drover. To Marr. Marr in over the blue line, shoots. That just missed the net. No more on the rebound, couldn't keep it in. Back come the Caps. McKim knocked off his stick by Oak. Oak plays it up along the boards. A couple of players go down, the puck is cleared out. Somebody had lost their stick. Down to the bench. Mike Druken. Haven't seen a lot of ice time from Druken in this series. Didn't play the first two games. Inserted here for games three and four. Didn't play much last night. He's out there now. He's the captain. Right out. Knocked off his stick by Murr. Fewer's got it. Back at the point. Nora with a shot. Hit somebody in front. Right out. Drukens in front of the goal. Drukens got it. Drukens back behind the goal to right out. He's knocked down by Oak. Close quarters back there. Finally, Robinson with a little bit of room. Gets it to Drover. Drover into the middle. Finds Marr. Marr just avoids the hit. That's going to be offside. We played four minutes, 26 seconds here in the second period. Still just one to nothing in favor of the St. John's Roof Tech Caps. St. John's win the faceoff, have it back in their own end, played around behind the goal. Off the glass and out. That'll go all the way down the ice. It'll be an icing call against the Caps. Shot from a sharp angle. Downer played it a little awkwardly, but kept it out. Snow back in his own end, quickly dumps it out. It's dumped back in. McKay here in the near corner. Takes it behind his goal. Lucas McKay. Step out, pass up on the right side. Chris Thomas. Johnny Anderson. No further than the blue line. Comes back to McKay. Snow. Anderson's on it. Comes right in front of the goal. Langdon was there. Couldn't get much on it. It went wide. Now it's down in the corner. 
Three players in there, four players. Comes loose, Lightning, and back at the point for Sims. Puck hopped on him, it comes out over the blue line. They'll have to reset. McKay to center, winds up hard around the boards. Cap's able to clear it. He gets past Sims. And they're going to call it icing. St. John's not happy with that. Sims had a chance to play it and just whiffed on it. Pender gets to center, and around it goes. McGraw on it first for the Caps, down in the corner. McGraw gets knocked down, gets the puck to Bishop. Bishop gets knocked down by Sims. McKim comes away with it. McKim feeds it across. McGraw back at the point for Pender. Pender with a shot, that one's blocked. Sims inside his own blue line. Long pass up ahead for Normore. Normore in over the blue line. He gets all tied up by Pender. The Caps come up with it. Brent to Robinson. He'll give it back to Mike Brent. Brent long pass up for Nor for Drover. Drover turning. He's got it for Mar. Mar with a shot saved by Downer. Kyle Downer with another big save for the Caps. Back comes Humber Dredge. Tried to get it into the middle. That's cleared out. Coming out was Brandon Hines. He was stopped with Drover following up on it. Gets it to Hines. Hines with some room. Hines cutting into the middle. Hines with a shot. Downer with another big save as he got the blocker on that one. Big collision at center. Bishop gets knocked down as he was hit by Hines. Hines and Brent. Not happy with Joel Bishop. He has been the recipient of four big hits now. Takes a licking and keeps on ticking though. This game much more physical than the first three. Face off win for Deer Lake. McGurk has it. Copy knocked down McGurk. Then there's a hit along the boards. Michael Hines getting in on the action. Oak, watched by Cole, gets it up ahead quickly to Hines, to Michael Hines. He lost it, backhanded in by Knight. Cole pushed to the boards. And that's going to be a penalty. <laughs> right below us, Coffee is giving it to... Kyle McGurk, he's got to be careful. Officials have been quick to call the on sportsman lakes. Sorry, on sportsman lakes. There's Michael Cole knocked down behind the goal. That's going to be an interference call against Oak. You want to be physical, but you don't want to be in the penalty box. Penalty comes with 12-16 to go here in the second. McGraw wins the faceoff back to Pender. And along the boards for Cole. Back to Pender. He'll go the other side. Down low. Work it in front. Save made by Roach and then cleared away. Kim had the chance over that left side for St. John's. McGraw will leave it there. Brought in Bishop. Drop pass. McKim back to Bishop. Puck hopped over a stick. Now he's got it in front. Scores! As I said, he's still going to lick it and keeps on ticking. And he was the recipient of all those big hits. But he gets the goal to make it 2 to nothing.
in our replay. He's got a hitch in its giddy up this evening. He'll continue to work and try and get that fixed. It is two to nothing. Come back live. Big goal for St. John's to make it two to nothing now here in game four. Two power play goals. You mentioned Deer Lake needs to stay out of the penalty box. They've been burnt twice. McKay, Parsons. Park dumps it in front. Parsons with the chance. Couldn't get a shot away. Had a stick tied up by Murphy Johnson. McGraw weaving his way in a shot. That is blocked by McKay and goes out of play. The huge goal for the Caps to take a 2 to nothing lead. McKim, his shot well wide of the target, goes to the fire boards, chipped out by Normore. Bishop back to get it. Joel Bishop winding up, cuts inside. Bishop in over the blue line. Bishop backhand was looking short side. That just missed. Will be kept in at the fire point. Thrown in front. Now it comes out. Norman turns, shoots it back in. Bishop missed it, following up on it is Marr. Marr lost it, Bishop took it away, plays it to the boards. Cap shoot it in, will come out the near side, Robinson on it. Gets rid of it. Cap settling it down back in their own end. Little chip off the boards, and then dumped in. Don't get it deep, but Humber Dredge has got it, Humber Dredge. Tried to make the pass, Puck stays with him. He had Stevens in front, now goes back to the point. Comes to the near boards. Thompson got there first. That shot blocked by Oak, plays it off the boards, but the Caps will maintain possession. Robinson. Just gets rid of it. Stevens stepped into him. Go right back there again. This time Robinson moves it ahead to Normore. Into the middle, Marr. Jordan Marr. Drover. Drover having a look around. Drop pass. Normore with a shot. Another save made by Downer. Not sure how we saw it through all that traffic. Out it comes. Sims. Drover. To Brent. Down the ice, and this will be icing against the St. John's Caps. We're down to 8.39 to go in the second period. Two power play goals for the Caps, one in the first, one in the second, and they lead it two to nothing. Hines, that puck went up in the air and out of play down in the far corner. Face off will stay down there. Hines tried to shoot it right from the faceoff. It comes into the crease. Scramble there. It's kept out. And it'll come out to center. Turning there is Sims. Sims will dump it in. 
Walsh off the boards. Brent holds it in. Brent towards the goal. That just missed. Sims trying to hold it in at the left point. Puck comes out down the ice. And once again, icing against the Caps. 8-0-1 left here in the second. Snow, bouncing puck, able to keep it onside. Throws it around behind the goal. Throws into the corner. Hines, taken away by McGraw. McGraw, it's going to be another penalty to Derlich. He was hit up high. Bishop breaking in towards the goal. Bishop maintains possession. Will be kept in. That shot goes wide. Snow and Bishop down on the ice right below us. And... Another penalty against Deer Lake. McGraw had the puck down in the corner. The hit came in a little high. And the referee called it immediately. McGraw and Coffey having words right at the blue line. Coffey who hit McGraw and heads to the penalty box. They're going to call elbowing. This is not what the Red Wings need. They've given up two power play goals already. Shot blocked, comes all the way out the center, Walsh back to pick it up. Murphy Johnson, got it in Orlula and then brought it back out. It's a break there for Deerlake. It was a delayed offside if Murphy Johnson had touched it. Face off would have come out. Deerlake had it, shot it down the ice. Just onside at the blue line, brought in. Picked off by McKay, and McKay able to lift it out. Send it down the ice. A minute 15 to go in the power play. Joel Bishop gives it to McGraw. McGraw holding it, takes it back towards the blue line. Cole from a sharp angle had that blocked by McKay. Thomas gets to the loose puck and sends it down the ice. Downer leaves it there for Pender. To McGraw. He'll drop it back. Cole. Cole weaves his way in over the blue line. Gains the zone. Then he's pushed to the boards by Sims. The puck will bounce out over the blue line. Bishop had it knocked away from him. Drover, he lost it. 20 seconds to go in the power play. So far, it's been a really good penalty kill for the Red Wings. Pender, up through the center. McGraw trying to get free. Over on this side, McKim. Humber Dredge, back to McKim. Meyer is in there, penalty is over. It's batted out of the air, and here's a breakaway for Cody Drover. Drover, Drover cutting in, stopped by Downer. Murphy Johnson able to catch up to Drover, harass him just enough to couldn't get away a good shot. Bring the face off all the way down. Okay, that that was gloved by a Deer Lake player up ahead 
to Drover. So none of that would have counted. It's a glove pass from down in their own end. So the faceoff comes back in the Deer Lake end. Our eagle-eyed camera person, Glenn Dean, picked that one up. Alfie trying to get down the left side. Comes to the side of the goal. Downers got it. And again, we've got a penalty. Interference. Referee back at center calling it. This one will go, I believe, against the Caps. George Walsh. He goes to the penalty box. A great opportunity here for the Red Wings. 5.02 to go in the second. They've fallen behind by two, and now they have the man advantage. Just had a great penalty kill a moment ago. And they win the faceoff. Robinson. Normore tried to shoot it. It was blocked. Red Wings keep it in. Michael Hines. Back to Robinson. Centering it. Back to Michael Hines. Holding it. Shot again blocked. Robinson. That shot got right through the goal. Downer kept it out. Red Wings maintain possession. Michael Hines along the boards. Try and get it back to the point. That's intercepted and sent down the ice by McGurk. One ten to go in the power play. Normore couldn't get to it. It's cleared out and hit somebody over at the Deer Lake bench. Went off a St. John stick, so the faceoff will stay deep in St. John's territory to the left of goaltender Kyle Downer. So far, he he's having himself a whale of a game in net for St. John's. 106 to go now in the power play. Marin to take the face off against Rideout. Caps control it and an easy clear. Under a minute to go with the man advantage. Drover. Trying to give it back to Marr, but that's got them going east and west. Marr, he stopped. Back to Sims. Back to Marr. Gets it into Coffey. And it'll slide into the goaltender. He will hold it. We'll get a face off in the St. John's end. 32 seconds to go in the power play. Down to about three and a half to go in the period. I approve of the music selections here at the Hotter. Chumbawamba going on right now. Might apply that one to Joel Bishop. Kept getting knocked down, he kept getting back up again. He got himself another goal. All right, we'll move on from that. This is Marr. Marr with a shot high over the top of the goal. Lucas McKay, Sims. Back to Marr. Time winding down, just five seconds to go in the power play. Hines down into the corner. Penalty is now over. It's dumped out. Caps jump on it. Michael Cole, Cole with a shot. Save. McGraw gets to the rebound. Another save made by Roach. McKay gets away. Hines. Tried to get a shot, stopped by Murphy Johnson. Comes to the near boards. Drover trying to catch up to it. It's cleared out. Marr. In front. Robinson with a shot. Downer with another save. Head out by St. John's. 
McKim, his shot, that's caught by Roach and held on. Two minutes exactly to go. In behind the net, Mike Brent, back for Sims. Down the far corner, Caps come up with it. Sims knocked it down. Pender gets to it, Just gets it as far as the blue line. Sims over to Brent. Brent. Gives it back to Sims. Sims long shot on down. A rebound is there. They feed it across. Looking for Anderson and the puck bounced over his stick. McGurk. Down into the near corner. Both teams changing. Up ahead. Here's a breakaway. No more. Saved by Downer. Downer just outweighted him. Nice move by Normore. Drop pass. McGraw's shot cleared away. Things open up as we're into the final minute here in the second period. Normore with another chance. Another blocker save made by Downer. Puck is loose there. Normore sent in all alone a moment ago as the Caps got caught on a bad change. That goes up and hits the banners that are just inside the blue line. Up in the ceiling, faceoff will come outside. Down to 35 seconds to go here in period number two. St. John's with one in the first, one in the second, both power play goals. And a penalty right off the faceoff as the St. John's player was knocked down. It's touched up behind the goal and St. John's will go back on the power play tripping is the call. Mitchell Normore had that breakaway a second ago, now down to the penalty box. Twenty six seconds to go in the period. Face off in the Deer Lake end. Cole will come in to take the face off against Michael Hines. Pender over the other side. Murphy Johnson fanned on it. He's got it again. Now behind the goal for Cole. Cole steps out, tried to backhand it in. And Hines able to clear it. Bishop at center. Pass up for McGraw. Shot him by Pender. Just six seconds to go in the period. It goes up in the air and batted out. And that's going to do it. Got a minute 34 left to go in the power play for St. John's when we come back to start the third period. Bad penalty to take right at the end of the period there by Normore down at the faceoff circle outside. 32 21. Feel like out shooting St. John's up to this point, but. Kyle Downer having by far his best game of the series. Keeping him, or keeping Derlick off the board. As they'd say in soccer, it's keeping a clean sheet up until now. All right, 18 minute break once again. We'll be back with period number three. See if Derlick can mount a comeback yet again. They've been pretty good at comebacks. Game number one, they trailed three to nothing midway through the third. Came back, made it three two, and almost scored late in the game with the goalie pulled to tie it up. And of course, last night they trailed four to one. At the end of the first, they trailed six to four. One point, came back, tied it up. Went to overtime before St. John's won. So let's see what the third period gives us. All right, time to take a break here in our webcast. 
You're watching the 2024 Herder Memorial Championship Series from the Hodder Memorial Recreation Complex here in Deer Lake, Newfoundland and Labrador. Speaking of Newfoundland and Labrador, before we go, congratulations, Brad Gushu from Newfoundland and Labrador, Labrador playing as Team Canada at the World Curling Championships into the championship game tomorrow. I'm sure lots of eyes will be on that one. All right, third period coming up here exclusively on AO.Live. Stay with us, folks.
Two to nothing. St. John's Caps leading this game after two periods of play. They're going to start this third period on the power play. A minute 34 left to go in the penalty to Mitchell Alexander Normor of the Red Wings. The Red Wings are going to need to try and kill this one off and then try and mount some sort of comeback here in the third or this series will likely be over. Still one period to go. We can give up a third goal now. It's going to make for a deep hole to climb out of. Mentioned Brad Gushu just prior to the intermission. I should mention his opponent will be his arch rival from Sweden, Nicholas Edin. Sweden beat Team Canada in the round robin six to five. They finished first and second overall. And while we've got a moment, I send best wishes to Newfoundland Labrador's representative in the Allen Cup. Starting in a couple of weeks' time, April 20th in Dundas, Ontario, the Southern Shore Pugnasavich Breakers will represent Newfoundland Labrador. They won the Herder last year, and they will open the Allen Cup against the host team, the Dundas Real McCoys, on April 20th. All right, power play. Red Wings with a chance to clear, and they do. Mike Brent sent it down the length of the ice. Pender with it. Pender winding up. Drops it back to Cole. Over to Bishop. Bishop faked the drop pass back to the point. Gave himself a little bit of room, then drops it back over the other side. Cole with a shot. That missed the net, and the faceoff will come outside. Nice play by Bishop that time. Instead of dropping it back to the point right away, he took the puck down into the corner, which created more room for the defenseman when he did drop it back because the Deer Lake defenders had to go down a little bit deeper. It's the little thing sometimes. McKim. McKim holding it in the circle. Down in behind the goal to Cole. Back to McKim. Back of the point, Pender. Pender taking it in deep to the side of the goal. Comes out in front and cleared and out. Tried to jam it in from the side. That's an Aaron pass picked off. And Robinson able to get it out. Stopped at center though by McKim. 20 seconds to go in the power play. McKim breaking in. McKim tried to make the pass. It comes to the front of the goal and Roach gets the trapper down on it. Stops the play. 13 seconds to go in the power play. And the faceoff, it goes behind the net. Sims couldn't get it out, kept in by Walsh. That's played back behind the goal, five seconds to go. And the Red Wings are going to kill this one off as the penalty has now expired. Tanner Humber Dredge, long stretch pass. That's tipped in, bouncing puck, rolling puck right down to Roach. And he is forced to hold it there. And that's going to bring about a face off in the Deer Lake end. off to the left of Josh Roach. Robinson. That pass for Hines. They missed it. McGraw with a shot. Roach just got a piece of it with the glove. Faceoff will stay to Roach's left. And they're going to 
redo their face off. That's cleared down the ice. And that will be icing against the Red Wings. So that face off will go right back in that same spot again. The Red Wings able to kill off that penalty and keep it a two goal game. Still lots of time left now, 17.55 to go in the third. Lifted high in the air out at center. Walsh knocks it down. Walsh brings it in. His shot stopped. Rebound! One off the defenseman. And it is three to nothing. Tough break there for the Red Wings. Three to nothing. Kill off the penalty and then give up that tough one. Now it's a deep hole for the Red Wings. Marr trying to play it off the glass. That was knocked down by McGurk. McGurk brings it into Deer Lake territory. He's in there with McKay. And out comes Drover. Normore. Normore cutting into the middle. Normore with a shot. A very sharp angle played well by Downer. Right from the faceoff, Humber Dredge clears it down. It was tipped, so no icing. And leave it for Mike Brent. It's over for Sims. Sims trying to get away at center. Puck got a, away from him and looted him a little bit and stopped there. Park follows up on it, shoots it in for Deer Lake. Cleared out by the Caps. Brent to Langdon. Langdon trying to make a move. Sims following up on it. Shot changed direction, went wide. Park has got it. Threw it right in front. Downer poked it away. Stevens played it around the boards. Gets it out. Racing onto it is Humber Dredge. He's got McKim over on the other side. Comes right in front. Humber Dredge tips it. Kept out by Roach. Langdon drops it back. Sims up for coffee. And throw it this side. Brandon Hines has it. Turns, puts it in around behind the goal. Michael Hines missed it. Coffee in looking for it. Hines has it, tried to wrap around. Downer was there. Puck still rattling around in front of the goal. There to the boards, comes back in front. Now back at the point. Shot in well wide of the goal. Bishop. That one off a skate. Oak back to pick it up in his own end. It goes right on goal. No icing. Downer leaves it there. 
This one down the ice, right on goal again. So again, no icing. We keep playing. McKay. No more in front for Marr. Rover couldn't get to it. Bishop clears it out. McKay has to hustle back to get it. He does. And he'll get the pass. Lucas McKay with it. Snow, long shot in, kick to the boards by Downer, and out it comes. Normore. Can't bring it in. The player trapped inside the blue line. McKay, now they clear the zone, dump it in. Norman, off the boards, trying to get it to Cole. Cole was heading to the boards, didn't get there in time, and that will be icing against St. John's. McKim will just slide it in behind the goal. Mike Brent back to get it. Cross ice pass for Park. He gets knocked down by Pender. Gets the pass up ahead. Thomas was stopped. McKim has it. Leaves it for Bishop. Bishop winding up. He's in over the blue line. Long shot right on goal. Roach made the save. Dropped it for just a second. And then he's got it. with Gangnam Style. Now we've got Pitbull. I wish my broadcast partner with the senior hockey and AAA under 18 major hockey league, Robert Golding. He loves to dance to those two songs. <laughs> the running joke with us for a few years. It was available to do the herder this week. And frankly, not much room up where we are right now. Here's Hines, Brandon, backhands it in behind the goal. Comes to the boards, and it was Drover back at the point, puck bounced over Hines. So Michael Hines couldn't touch it, would have been offside. Walsh, who's credited with that third goal for St. John's as he shot it on goal. Roach made the save and hit the defenseman skating in front and went into the empty net behind the goaltender. Long stretch pass, McGurk, fed it in front, as if they score! That, folks, might do it. I'm befuddled as to what's happening with our replay. Got to get this score updated, too. It's thrown off by the replays. It's three, now it's four. Missed one. Replay shows where it should be, and I'm going to bring it up. Black screen. Good thing this could be the last game. I'll get it fixed over the summer. Four to nothing. And the way Kyle Downer is playing, this is a tough task for the Red Wings. Sims, his shot off a stick, up and out of play. Faceoff will stay right there.
We're down to 11.48 to go here in the third period. Penalty to the Caps. You have to think Gearlick must score on this one, have any chance. Down by four on the power play. Michael Hines back for Sims. Tipped in front, backhand by Normore, kicked away by Downer. Normore's got it again. His shot, that missed the net. Michael Hines picked it up here in the near boards, got it back to Sims. Forced out by McGurk. McGurk's got it, can't get it out in the first try. Sims, no more. Back at the point for Sims. Towards the goal, hit somebody in front, and that will get out over the blue line. Minute 12 to go in the power play. No more to the boards. Caps on it first. Away it goes. Under a minute to go in the power play. That was stopped at the blue line. Caps get it out. McKay drops it back. Robinson down into the corner. Back to Robinson. Another penalty coming up to St. John's. They've got a sixth attacker out there. The goaltender's gone to the net. McKay winds up, shoots it wide of the net. Those two to the corner. Caps finally touch it up. A brief five on three. 15 seconds left to go in the initial penalty. Mark right out. We go to the penalty box. So 15 seconds of five on three here. The Red Wings key is win the faceoff. It'll be Drover against Cole. You're gonna wave Drover out a little late coming in, so it'll be Jordan Meyer against Cole. No more and Pender get their sticks up a little bit. Now we go. Puck goes in behind the goal. Caps on it. And that's pretty much going to do it for the five on three as the Caps win that all important face off. Send it the length of the ice. So it is now five on four. Brandon Hines drops it back. Robinson over the other side. Marr back to Robinson. Fans yelling, shoot it. Can't shoot it from there. Marr holding it. Trying to flip it in front, goes through the boards. Normore's got it. And out it comes. Red Wings can't touch it. That'll take more time off the clock. Hard slap shot down there. It's right on goal. Ooh, Roach had a little trouble with that. It snuck by him, but went wide. Minute 10 to go in the power play. McKay. That's picked off, and here we go, shorthanded breakaway. Kyle McGraw, shoots, stopped by Roach. Under a minute to go in the power play. McKay with a shot, that one off a leg. Park, backhand goes up high in the air. Norman got a stick on it, it's in the corner. Red Wings have it, back at the point. Kept in by Normore. His shot, that just missed the mark, and it'll come around and Go all the way down the ice around the boards. 30 seconds to go in the power play. Marr. Marr cutting in. Knocked off his stick as he cut towards the goal. Good play by Heffernan. Back at the point. McKay winds up. That one off a stick wide. Didn't get through to the goal and out it goes. 
Ten seconds left. That'll pretty much do it again for the power play. Another good kill for the Caps. Penalty is now over. That may have been the last opportunity for the Red Wings. They trail it by four, under eight minutes to go here in regulation time. Knocked down by Brent. Brent, his shot, right on goal. Downer smothers that. $752 on the 50-50 tonight. Somebody's going to go away happy. Coffee with a shot, another save by Downer. That comes to the side of the goal. Downer's got that one. Face off, it comes out towards the blue line. McKim jumps on it, gets to center, shoots it in. And he'll go in to forecheck. Out it comes. Brandon Hines with it. Poked off his stick. Down behind the Deer Lake goal. Oak holding it. Robinson off the stick of Michael Hines. Parfrey. Hines with a big hit on Parfrey, but the puck comes out. Caps have it. Bishop let it go. Caps are changing. So are the Red Wings. Down to six and a half left to go here in the third. One in the first, one in the second, two here in the third. Cole. Behind the goal. Missed the hit, but the puck comes loose. Red Wings have it. Drover. Marr. Sorry, that's Brandon Hines. This is Drover. For Hines, back to Drover. Kicked away by Heffernan, and that goes into the St. John's bench. Under six to play. That shot off a stick, that'll go up into the mesh. Face off will stay to the right of Kyle Downer. Hard shot, but a lot of bodies in front. Knocked off the stick of McKay. Out to play it is Roach. Drover. Marr looking for Drover. Drover. He gets hooked down. That's going to be a penalty to St. John's. Comes with 5.19 to go. 4 to nothing. St. John's leading this. Langdon against Cole. Langdon wins it. 
Uh, Dirk's got it. And Derlick will be forced to go back in their own end to pick it up. Steven Sims. Thomas had it taken away. Again, cleared down the ice. Roach will leave it there. Actually, won't get to Roach. Sims has it. Minute 25 to go in the power play. Brought in. Thomas. And around behind the goal. Toffee fed it out in front. Caps are on it first. Heffernan will skate away with it. Up for Coffee. Into the middle, looking for Hines. Stick goes flying. Thomas tried to get it back to the point. Players hit the ice down below us. Good battle down in the corner. Puck comes loose. Brent, Brent with a shot. Downer has that and holds on. And then Hines pushed Heffernan into Downer. And that's going to bring about a little bit of a scrum. Officials in quickly. Forty-five seconds left to go in that penalty to the Caps. Roger Pender in the penalty box. 404 to go in the third. And of course we will stay here for the presentation at the end of this game, assuming there's not a ridiculous comeback. Here's McGurk shorthanded. McGurk scores. No comeback, folks. Five to nothing. Fans beginning to make their way out of the hotter after that goal by Kyle McGurk. Shorthanded. Game still very much in doubt coming into the third period, but it's been all St. John's here in the third. A very spirited first period in particular. The Caps have taken over. And Marr still on the power play, Deer Lake. Brandon Hines. Drover. Drover having a look. Still with the puck. Feeds it in for Marr. It's tipped just wide. Marr's got it in around behind the goal now. Jordan Marr over the other side. Brandon Hines. Hines. Penalty is now over. We'll go back to five on five. Just over three minutes left to go in this one. Huck held against the boards. Referee blows the whistle. Under three to go now. 2.59. So as mentioned, they will present the Herder Memorial Championship Trophy. Once this game is over and the Herder MVP. Start thinking about who that could be. Thinking Joel Bishop might be a leading contender. Kyle Downer with his performance here this evening. Just to get some consideration. Pender drops it back. Heffernan. Shot in. Roach will hang on to it. So he caught that long shot from Thompson. Oh, 
St. John's fans down in the far end. That's where the visiting fans tend to congregate. They're applauding. Shot in. Normore behind the goal. Langdon. Park. He's at for Normore. Normore stepping out, gets it down to Park. Park fended across and went off a stick into the corner. Under two to go. Big hit down in the corner. Right out was hit. A couple of players go down. Puck comes out in front and Downer says, enough of that. One forty eight. It's really only one question left to be solved in this game in the next minute forty eight, and that's the thing that broadcasters are not allowed to mention. It's five to nothing. That gets past Sims. He's got to back up down to his own end. Back to Sims, cross ice. Anderson leaves it. Coffee with a shot. One more save by Downer. Mike Brent can't shoot it. Tried to get it down to Anderson. It's cleared to the fire boards. McGurk. And we get the visiting fans with a go caps go chant. And since their team about to win the Herder Memorial Championship trophy. For the icing, 103 to go. side as we're into the final minute. Caps come up with the puck down in the corner. As more fans begin to exit the hotter. Beat the traffic. Thirty seconds to go. Red Wings have it. Thomas. You can hear the cheering from the St. John's bench and from the fans, and the play stops. Mike Drukin, slashing penalty. And Darren Langdon having words with Drukin. Drukin is going to go. He has a few words for the Bear Lake bench as he exits. Twenty point two seconds. Deer Lake will go on the power play. Drukin gets five and a game for slashing.
Caps win the faceoff. Pender over to Rideout. Park back off high. Drover this side. Robinson a shot. Couple of chances kept out by Downer. Back to Robinson. That shot off the leg. Under five to go. Thomas in behind the goal. They're going to run out of time. Six and gloves go in the air, and the celebration is on. Congratulations, St. John's Roof Tech Caps. You are the 2024 Herder Memorial Trophy champions. Here they celebrate behind their goal. They make it a clean sweep over the Deer Lake Red Wings who came out with a strong effort early in this game, but just outmanned as things went on. Had a great game last night. St. John's kind of ran away with it here this evening. As I say, it was close after two, just two to nothing, but... Forty-three, thirty-four shots on goal favoring the Deer Lake Red Wings. Kyle Downer, 43 shot shutout. So we will stay for the presentations. Teams line up and shake hands. Across the way on the table, and just make it out behind the officials. There's the Herder Trophy. The hometown fans salute the Red Wings. Two years in a row, they've made it to the Herder final. Couldn't bring home the trophy, but back-to-back -back appearances. They've given the fans a lot to cheer about this season. Over by the presentation table, we've got Andy Brake, president of the Central West Senior Hockey League, Joe Maynard, HL, Gary Gale, senior chair for HL. President of the Avalon East Senior Hockey League, Jack Casey, and 
Vice President Ivan Hapgood, who's also General Manager of the Clarenville Caribous. There's Gary Gale. Congratulating the Fair Lake Red Wings for a very competitive series. It's 4 0, but there were some very competitive games in those four. Hats off to the Red Wings. Absolutely, Gary. to the Caps. Gary is saying much more how well you can hear that. He's saying it's the best Caps team he's seen in a long, long time and talked about the speed of the Caps. the Central West Senior Hockey League. I mentioned both those individuals will be inducted into the HNO Hall of Fame a little later this year. I can have good and Andy Brink.
So this is the Cliff Gorman Memorial Award. This is the Herder MVP. Now, Joel Bishop had a tremendous series. The overtime goal last night. And another one today. Not an overtime one, but another goal today. And a hat trick yesterday. Had himself a great series. Captain of the Caps accepting the Herder Memorial Championship Trophy. And is the tradition, the only victory left. First down in front of the St. John's Caps fans who have made the trip here to Deer Lake this weekend. Next to get the trophy, Kyle Downer. What a game tonight. 43 shot shutout to clinch the herder for the Caps. It'll get passed around to the various players. As they do that, just want to pop up inside of our broadcast location for just a second, folks. So, oh, sure, now the replay works. <laughs> Anyway, um, it's been a, a great year. This marks the end of another season of senior hockey. And frankly, I didn't know if I'd be doing another season of senior hockey this year. Um, I generally work with the, the Cataracts and Grand Falls Windsor doing all their games all year, as I've done since 2010. Uh, it's my 11th herder. Happy to be proud to be a part of the herder tradition over all the years. Uh, didn't know if the Cataracts would be back this year. Central West Senior Hockey League kind of reimagined itself and uh, senior hockey came back and I ended up doing a bunch of games all year again and it's been a, a real pleasure and of course it was a super pleasure to be back doing the herder again and thanks to everybody for watching all season long the regular season and now into the herder I want to thank our camera people Stephen Clark out at CBS last night Mike Golding Glenn Dean Cole doing the game tonight it's not an easy job doing the camera <laughs> I know because I, I won't do it it's, it's too much work. It's been a lot of fun. Um, again, folks, thanks so much for watching. We'll go back down to ice level for a few minutes, and then we will sign off for another season. Everybody gets a turn. There's Kyle McGraw. All right, folks, that's going to do it uh, for us. Let's see, we'll pass the trophy around to everybody. Fans begin to make their way out. I've got to pack everything up tonight and get out of here and head back home tomorrow morning.
Again, thanks to everybody for watching. Folks, have yourselves a great evening. We'll see you all again, hopefully, next year to do it all over again. Good night, everyone.